Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. So Tom Henderson has recently put out yet another article regarding Battlefield 2042 Season 1 and this time he has actually managed to confirm the launch date. The problem is it just so happens to coincide with the most hype Call of Duty release uh, in recent memory so that's kind of a slight issue considering that 2042 doesn't exactly have the most hype around it anyway but if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Because speaking of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, I plan on putting videos out on this channel regarding that game. I want to kind of expand the horizons a little bit. Maybe some weapon reviews, gameplay, that sort of thing. I'm also planning on giving Warzone 2 a fair shake. Because I'm going to be honest, I can't be caught dead playing Battlefield 2042 for pretty much any longer than I already have been. Because it is absolutely painful. Now, regarding the Battlefield Season 1 release date, it is supposedly going to be releasing on June 9th, with multiple trailers releasing for the season before the season releases on June 7th. Now, this just happens to coincide with Call of Duty's massive reveal event for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on June 8th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. Now, I am not one to be caught up with hype, I'm not one to be fooled by trailers or sold by marketing campaigns, but the hype around this new Call of Duty game is absolutely undeniable. I've seen it all over Twitter, I've seen it all over any social media I go on, and this is honestly going to be a massive mistake for Battlefield, even trying to compete with the hype juggernaut that is going to be Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And in my opinion, I would have preferred them to actually delay the release of Season 1 a week if it means that you avoid coinciding your release with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 reveal events. Because let's be perfectly honest here, right? Battlefield as a franchise has really never competed with Call of Duty in terms of popularity. People love to say, oh, Battlefield 1! It, Battlefield 1 didn't even come close. Like, Battlefield as a game is just going to be inherently less popular because of the type of game it is. But with that being said, they do inevitably share player bases, at least to some extent. So if you're Battlefield 2042 in EA, and you're setting all this stuff up, you're releasing your first content after some massive six month delay, it is in my opinion, either ego, arrogance, or raw stupidity, maybe all of the above, to even consider coinciding your release for your first content drop with Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 reveal events. That is just a gigantic marketing oversight, in my opinion. I think it's stupid, and I think they'd honestly benefit from delaying it, as weird as that sounds. Because, I don't know about you, but I'm a YouTuber, right? You guys watch my videos. Thank you so much, by the way. I read the comments. I read the comments on videos I do on Battlefield 2042 Season 1, and let's just say people aren't really excited for it. Uh, I'll throw some comments up on the screen right now if I can find some. I get comments all the time going, Season 1, can't wait to play that one new map, guys. Oh, Season 1, can't wait to play this fucking garbage. You know, like, you're not exactly holding a ton of hype for Season 1 to begin with, and now you're just making it even worse by attempting to compete with quite possibly the most hyped up Call of Duty reveal event in recent memory while you're simultaneously at your lowest point ever in franchise history. And some people might just say this is like, oh, Enders, you're just complaining to complain, blah, blah, blah. No, I don't think I am, to be honest. I genuinely think that EA thinks that they can still compete with Call of Duty and they can get away with sh shit like this. No, you can't. Stop, cut the ego out, okay? Cut the arrogance out. You are actually minuscule compared to Call of Duty now. You have to actually take these measures to make sure that people know you're releasing something. Because, say you're a COD fan, right, but you also play Battlefield. What are you gonna fucking rather watch? Are you gonna watch the 2042 reveal trailers first, or the massive Modern Warfare 2 remake trailers first? Chances are, they're gonna watch the COD trailers first, because there's just a lot more that goes with that game. In my opinion, it's just way more interesting. My age group grew up on playing Modern Warfare 2, and my age group is also the same people that's going to buy the fucking game again when it comes out because there's going to be that nostalgia factor. There's going to be that hype factor. How's it going to play compared to the original? You know, just all this stuff has COD has going for it. Meanwhile, 2042, we're like, oh, we already know what's in it because Temporal data mined all of it and there's like one map and one specialist and we might get like three guns. Okay, like it's, you need to stop. So we'll see how it pans out in my opinion. And if you play Counter-Strike, you'll understand this. This is like, Battlefield 2042 being a silver player 
ego challenge a, a, a fucking global elite on a head glitch in Counter-Strike. Like, it's like, stop. So that is going to do it for this video. We'll see what Battlefield 2042 Season 1 actually contains. We'll see if Temporal was correct in what he dug up. My guess is he'll be correct with a lot of it. But there was also the potential for some of the content he dug up to be content that we won't see until later. Potentially some of it is Battle Pass content. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Am I crazy? Am I correct? And as always, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as 65% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you enjoy the content regularly, check if you are subscribed. It really does help the channel out. We're inching closer to 25,000 subs. Gonna have to do something special for that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Tango down! Yeah! <laughs>